Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Screwball Toyons back here with another Marvel Legends discussion video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about a huge problem that will affect the Marvel Legends and a lot of other brands next year because boy, oh boy. Uh, we need a backup plan, to say the least. Definitely need a backup plan. So before getting to that, thank you guys for a 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate it. I'm going to go through all the giveaway comments. You can still enter, of course. I'm not going to, you know, say, oh, well, you, you entered after a 1,000. No, you can still enter if you're brand new here, if you're first time watching. Uh, we're giving away a Marvel Legend. Right? A Marvel Legend of your choice. All you got to do is be subscribed, like, turn on post notifications for all the content, and uh, comment your favorite Marvel Legend of all time. That's all you got to do. And uh, we were going to do the giveaway at 1K, which we have it. Uh, so I'm going to take about a couple days to read uh, all of them, and uh, we'll get into it. And you guys may obviously hear that I'm uh, very under the weather. Not really. I was. Uh, that's why there was no video yesterday. I just felt like complete dog shit, if I'm going to be honest with you. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm recording like a 20-minute video of me talking. My throat was on fire. Nose was stuffy. My head hurt. But today, uh, luckily, we're a lot better. We're a lot better. Uh, so, I should be able to get through this one uh, pretty much uh, freely, as free as I, I want. Uh, the next giveaway, we'll do it at uh, 3,000 subscribers. So, 3,000 subscribers is going to be the next giveaway. And I don't want to announce the rules just yet, because obviously that would interfere with the giveaway rules if you haven't entered with, with this video. So, it will kind of be kind of convoluted. Uh, but we'll give away another Marvel Legend um, at 3,000. Uh, and what I'll do, a uh, little spoiler... I'll have you comment your favorite memory with Marvel Legends. Your favorite memory. Uh, there's a lot I can remember. Uh, have a very fond memory of as a, as a kid. I'm sure you guys do as well. So I'd love to hear them. I'd love to hear them. If you guys want to get that going, uh, have at it. Uh, but again, going to pick the winner here very soon. So there's that. And of course, ah, let's get into it. So if I sniffle and cough, just, just bear with me here. I'm trying my best, okay? You guys saw the video yesterday, or I should say on Monday or Tuesday. It would have, yeah, it would have been Tuesday. Um, good thing I had a toy hunt planned on Tuesday because I was feeling it. Like when I was at Ollie's that video, which by the way, if you have not checked out that Ollie's video, check that out. There were 350 plus Marvel Legends. 10 rows across, 5 rows up, 7 figures deep on each peg. It's about 350. Plus there were more on the, on the, uh, the table over on the side, which I didn't count those, obviously, because they're all over the place. But there was about a, a roughly 400 Marvel Legends at that Ollie's, which I was shocked. I was, I, I legitly, like, when I saw that, and you'll see in the video yourself, I was actually speechless. I'm a man of many words. I usually like to give my take and opinion on anything you may ask me to do. But when I saw that... And I said, there's absolutely no shot in hell. There's 350 plus, almost probably 400 Marvel Legends at that one particular Ollie's. Which, I didn't get anything uh, in the Marvel Legends out because I had them all. I did find uh, two troopers uh, from the uh, or, uh, Order 66 scene with Anakin Skywalker. So I picked those up. Can't go all main troopers. Man, I was surprised. $10 for those? Yes, please. Like, absolutely. I already had that Commander Cody. If you saw the other video we did, like, about a week ago. So, I left that one there for somebody else. You could have it. Um, but, today we're going to talk about Marvel Legends. And there is a huge problem. Not just with Marvel Legends. We're going to talk about DC McFarland. We're going to talk about Star Wars. We're going to talk about Funko. Because there is a very bad rumor out there right now regarding the strikes. And what is going to happen uh, if the strikes are not resolved? So, I seen today on, on Twitter and a lot of reliable sources in the industry said that they're going to stop using likenesses of actors for merchandise if the writer's strike don't get resolved soon. So what that means is you see Monica Rambeau here and, and Carol Danvers, two great figures, by the way. The Miss Marvel figure... Dog water, it's not good. The head scan is completely off. I'm going to try to make a custom with that one, uh, but if not, it is what it is. I have it, but it's over there on the shelf. Didn't even desire to even put it on the video because it, it's not a good figure. It's probably one of the worst figures they've made all year, to be honest with you. These two, though, great figures, particularly Monica. Monica's great. So we'll use them for an example. 
if the writer strikes don't get resolved soon, they are going to threaten to not use likenesses of the actors and actresses portraying these characters. So what's that mean? Companies like Hasbro, companies like Mattel, companies like McFarlane, Funko, if they are playing a real-life character like we see right here, like not cartoon or nothing, they are not going to be allowed to make figures or Funkos of any sort or T-shirts or anything like that if the writer's strike don't get resolved and the acting strike because they're both on strike and the video game industry is going on strike. Uh, they have a couple weeks to decide on that. So this is this is pretty bad. Like this is all across the board, very bad. I'm not talking about just I'm not talking just Marvel Legends. <coughs> I'm talking Star Wars Black Series. I'm talking GI Joe, although that's probably not the best example because there's really not movie figures there. Uh, we're talking you know Power Rangers. We're talking Funkos. We're talking T-shirts. We're talking trading cards because I know trading cards for particular movies and things like that are popular right so this is this is pretty bad this is definitely very bad and i brought this up in a discussion about maybe a week ago i was like it's gonna get to the point because i knew this was gonna happen like the writing was definitely on the wall for this hopefully cross my fingers it doesn't get to that because the writers association and the actors association are definitely basically what they're doing they're putting pressure on the companies to pay them more um, if you guys don't know what this whole strike's about, I'm going to summarize it here for you in a minute. They, they basically, they want more money, and the companies are not giving it to them. And now, they're threatening to stop using likenesses of these people. So, let's say, hypothetically, let's throw this one out here. Captain America 4. Captain America 4, from what I understand, is done filming. No reshoots. It's all done. Right? It got done before the writer's strike. So, they are right now in post-production for that movie. Although, that movie comes out, I believe, in May. Guess what? If this writer's strike continues and this takes place, they're not going to be able to produce Marvel Legends. Or what they'll do, what was definitely most likely they'll do in this situation, is they'll make them, but hold them back. And they will not put them out before the movie or around the movie. Same with Funko, right? So this is, this is pretty bad. This is definitely pretty bad. If it gets to that point, um, toy companies, merchandise dealers, merchandise sellers, you know, this is going to affect a lot of people. This will affect online retailers. This will affect in-store retailers like, you know, Target and Walmart and GameStop. This will affect Hasbro. This will affect Funko. This will affect Mattel, right? So it's going to affect a lot of people, right? If they can't put figures out of the actors and actresses um, when the movies come out, which next year... Spoiler alert, Hollywood's going to enter a dark period in Hollywood. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of stuff coming out next year due to these strikes. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but it sucks, man. It really does suck. Like, does Marvel and Hasbro have a contingency plan? Like, are they going to pump out a lot of comic book figures next year because of this? And say, you know what? We'll release the movie line, movie waves, when this strike gets resolved. It might get to that point. It's going to have to get to that point. Because if they can't put them out, what are they going to do? Are they not going to make them? They're not not going to make them. Like, you'd be funny if you were thinking to yourself, they're not going to make a Captain America 4 wave. That wave was leaked about a couple weeks ago, about a month ago at this point. So we know that's coming. A full wave, top to bottom, all movie figures for Captain America uh, 4. Right, and I'm uh, hoping, I'm praying that the um red hulk is the build a figure which i'm thinking i'm on the fence i'm leaning towards it's gonna be hopefully because obviously the deluxe figure is captain america with the wings uh so i mean they might do two deluxe figures i don't know but i'm really hoping the red hulk is the build a figure in that set it makes all perfect sense he's the villain of the movie literally uh, he becomes president if, if you guys don't know the storyline they're gonna tell he becomes president, Harrison Ford's character, Thunderbolt Ross, becomes the president of the United States. And he's going to test super soldier serum to, uh, like, military and things like that. And he's going to take it and turn into the Red Hulk. Because I guess, like, Gamma and, and, like, super soldier serum, like, mix or something, he takes them both and he turns into the Red Hulk. So that's the storyline they're going to tell there. If, if you guys didn't want spoiled, um, I'm sorry. Uh, but 
it is what it is, right? Sorry. If these, I mean, it's not really a big spoiler, but they'll show that in the trailers when the trailers hopefully eventually come out. Again, like, it, it's a bad time, man. Our Hasbro and Mattel and, and Funko, like, Funko, I mean, I fear for them the most because Funko is based off of pulp culture. So if they don't got no shows or movies to release product on, which, I mean, that's like literally like 75% of their product, uh, they like might like go down. Like they're already like on the verge of filing for bankruptcy if, if you guys are not aware with that news. Um, so I honestly fear for them the most out of any company. Um, <coughs> obviously, Hasbro, um, they could release spider, uh, or I should say comic book figures. Um, so that's really not an issue for them. Same with Star Wars. They could release Clone Wars and, and, and cartoon, uh, styled figures. I don't think the collecting community would honestly argue and hate that because the Clone Wars is the best thing Star Wars has ever done and like Rebels and things like that. So I don't think anybody would bat an eyelash towards that idea either. Same with McFarlane. Like, they could do like, comic book figures. They could do cartoon figures of, of movies and shows and, and things like that. But rumor has it is they're going for the likenesses and, and rights like that next, which <clears throat> if that happens, man, I'm sorry. I'm coughing all over. I should have brought my water with me, but I didn't. If that happens, Hollywood uh, and, and the merchandise dealers and, and sellers, it's going to be rough. It's definitely going to be rough. Next year, action figures... Although they look great, the the lineup the lineups and the product uh, leaks that we have gotten so far from Marvel Legends next year, they look great. If you guys don't know, uh, click or I shouldn't say click the link, but go back a couple weeks on my channel. We discussed all the leaks, not the full leaks, because obviously we don't know everything. But we discussed about a good like twenty five figures uh, next year for Marvel Legends. And there's a lot of good ones on there. There's a lot of good ones, but at the same time. There's a lot of there's a lot of movie figures on there as well and show figures. So hopefully this gets fixed. Hopefully, because if it doesn't, do they have a contingency plan? Do they have a backup plan in case this actually does happen? I hope so. Uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say for you guys in this video before I get out of here. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.